this is a 14 year old alternator. I never replace one like so. I have to try to get this off, that off, this bolt off, a bolt down there, and a bolt over there. I'm trying to figure out why my car won't start. Ah, a missing battery. It's showtime! Is there any other way these things pop off? I have no idea. So I got it off. Man, that is one old cable and one old bolt. Man, that is one rusty nut. It's a 10 millimeter. It's going to come off eventually. I just don't want to do it single-handedly and hit. So I freed it. Don't want to lose this. Take it off nice and carefully. Get a new nut. Good on that side, bad on that side. Oh, I lost it. Let me uh, take this off. Wiggle, wiggle. Listen carefully. Click, click. Pull, pull. Off it comes. Real simple. All right, so the hardest parts are done. I have to get this one off. That's my next. A little pressure. A little snap. A little twist, a little love. And off she comes. Oh, remember, put that nut back on. Don't lose it, fish. I got a 14 millimeter and over here that's why I'm gonna be breaking I loosened this up before so let me go get my breaker bar tighten it down again I use my floor jack imagine what cold can do man cold is really strong Let's get a 13 on here. We'll loosen this bad boy up. All right, that comes off real easy. Pull it to the side. A shake, not bad. Continue to get this bottom bolt off. It's turning real slow. I still need to get a wrench on it. For some freedom, I'm going to loosen this bolt up. Oh, I missed it. I'll be right back. Oh man, I missed this one right here. I don't know if I could free it up. I'm going to turn this one. One, two, three. Am I going the right way? So as I'm loosening it up, Trying to get the bolt to where I need it to be going. Just a bit of socket of a 12 millimeter on there, nice and strong. And that breaks the hold. Let alone breaks loose faster. Fabulous blaster. Now we're all moved. And everything's loosened up. Again, I drop my tool. Pull the bolt out, slide it out, put it to the side. As I turn and turn, I notice over here the rust. And that's going to give me a problem. 
to get my last bolt out. You see what I mean? Right there, there it is. So, it's like every quarter of a click now, and I got like 50 more to do before I really free it. What happens when you get uh, rusted bolts in there? They're playing my song because I busted the move. Yeah! Rip the belt off. Try to get the alt out. Something, something is just holding it. Could it be that? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to slide that out. What seemed to happen is, as I'm pulling the nut out, <laughs> the rest of the part is most likely stuck in here. And I have to now figure out how to get that out of the hole. <laughs> can you ever get 28.3 volts on an alternator I sure can I'm not guessing what happened 14.4 uh, now I'm up to 28.3 I'm just shy of 5 volts how could you get that amount of voltage uh, I gotta go figure out how to get a uh, bolt part out and at least the car is running man it's running I'm not gonna trust it but I have to figure out what my next move is I hope you enjoy what I tried to do just fairly out of bed Well, I can't get my stuff today or tomorrow. Where'd the hole go? I can't even see in here anymore. Wow, fish, you gotta go lower. So I'm gonna put the bolt in and I'm gonna get JB welding and finish that off. Take the battery off, get rid of it, put it to the side. Put the new one in. Take the cap off. Red, positive, to the ground. To the ground. I forget. Turn the remote on. We got light. And we got power. So we are started up just like that. This lead goes to the kill switch. Bent it so it could close. They don't think about room and how things go. The alternator needs to be adjusted just a little. JB welding, we're done. I don't have any more flickering. I should be getting the correct voltage. And when I shut everything off, the thing I must do now, turn the kill switch on. Turn me off, baby. Off is off. No power to the car. So when I start my car up now. Silence. No more drain of the battery. Problem I had with this. I uh, broke the doorman bolt. Can't get myself a right angle drill. Not because I can't get it in. I can't get one. So, 
I'm just gonna repair it for now to another day. At least the car starts and runs does its job. I'll come back and fix it another day, another time. There you go.